I wrote in myself and James are back for more Drowned Earth, and uh, it's time to talk about some of the new stuff. Uh, Indeed. This has me excited. Indeed. Yeah. So, you have given me a big load of images here yep. with a lot of new stuff on it. So, uh, shall we just start working through it, or yep. do you want to preface slightly? Uh, well, so, I mean, I think the exciting thing to tell people is actually that this is uh, the first time anyone is going to have seen not the concepts uh -huh. uh, i think people people have seen uh, most of the concepts or, or for the new releases uh -huh. uh, for the end of this year already but we're going to talk about the rules and uh, show the profile cards uh, and have a talk about what these what these guys do what they're good at what their what their niche in the game is uh -huh. and uh, that sort of thing so the idea of uh, every release is i i've got a, i've got a theme mm -hmm. that i uh, want to pursue and uh, this time around the theme is trying to give the factions, each faction, access to something that they're not typically good at. Ah. Uh, so trying to fill in the gaps, make them a little bit more rounded. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not something that we'll do too much of. You know, we want to preserve the unique uh, character of every faction. Yes. Um, but at the same time, sometimes your guys that aren't good at close combat just need a dwarf with a meat cleaver and a grappling hook. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that's whoever this first one is. Yeah, that's right. Ando? So, this is Ando. He yeah. is a uh, big game hunter. Uh, and, well, what do you think big game means uh, in the Drowned Earth? Because it's not lions and tigers. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing some form of uh, large T-Rex that I can imagine this little guy jumping onto the back off after he's launched the grappling hook Absolutely. and wrestling to the ground. Yeah, yeah. so he's smoking his victory cigar there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he, oh, he, and the he, smoking it too. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, he wins a lot. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he does look like he wins a lot. Yeah. I'm, I'm loving the design for this. The, the damage you've done in and around on the actual the harpoon gun. Yeah. Uh, the fact that he's got smoke rolling the out billowing of his mouth. smoke is great, isn't it? Yeah, he's and just then got the, that. the little pouches. I'm wondering if they have anything to do with the rules. Shall we let people uh, away from the suspense then? Stop sure, egging sure. it on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we have his stat cards. What have we got here? Okay, so the the first thing to uh, to notice is that his. Uh, hand weapon the dino chopper does a really vast amount of nailed it damage yeah uh sixes so he really can one shot a dinosaur when he's on form uh so uh, unfortunately we don't have a 360 of the model but on his back is a giant meat cleaver uh -huh. um and so uh it, the uh, the weapon also does rend so it uh slices uh slices through people pretty effectively yeah um you really don't want to get too close to this guy unless you are very confident. Yeah. Um, his uh, close combat is is uh, pretty decent. He's uh, running at sevens. Yeah. Uh, and he's effectively all about board control. Mm. Uh, so the the range of his grappling gun is uh, six stroke eight. Yes. So that's uh, six if he passes or eight if he nails it. Yeah. And the grappling d gun does something particularly fun. It's sort of like a reverse ambush. Um, if you happen to, if he shoots it at you, mm -hmm. then uh, if you are the same size or smaller than he is, you come shooting towards him. Oh. That is the, the, the base size. Uh, he just sort of reels you in yeah. uh, and then thumps you with the, uh, with the chopper. Um, Alternatively, if he is firing it at a bigger model, he ends up zipping up towards them I see. Um, and sort of dangling from his <laughs> uh, hacking away. Um, so, uh, as I say, it's all about board control. It's about yeah. creating a bubble that, that you really don't want to go into and you're going to have to deal with him one way or the other. He isn't super tanky. He's got no armor. He's got toughness for. Yeah. Uh, so lots of weapons uh, strip toughness. Mm. Um, and so he's a little bit vulnerable at times, uh, but and he's limited in terms of range. Mm -hmm. uh, another important thing to notice is that the grappling gun does uh, the grappling gun does stun damage. Yeah. So he can potentially you move a bit too close to him, he can you know thwack you with the grappling gun, move in, and he's unopposed, yeah. uh, which is really dangerous. So this guy is super dangerous mm -hmm. in close combat. 
Yeah, I am seeing that he's also got a nice little mobility ability there where he's getting to re-roll his dice for, like, climb tests. That's which right. Is, yeah, which is very nice. Cause it's what a, you'd have seen, yeah. if you've got a grappling hook, right? Yeah. I mean, well, he doesn't he's, he's he doesn't climb explorer. like a normal person using his hands. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. he, he's got metal hooks. And he looks like a seasoned explorer, so he knows what he's up to. Exactly. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm so that's Ando. Ready. He's for the artifactors. And yeah. as I said, typically the artifactors are, are fairly lacking. Sage is okay, mm. but they're generally fairly lacking uh, at close combat, mm. particularly in terms of damage. I see. All right. Uh, let's have a look at the next one. So who is this? So this is Lacasque. Uh, he is. Uh, he belongs to the firm. So he's an uh, organized criminal gangster type. And you can see he's got a real Yakuza oh, yeah. style going on there. Uh, with his uh, samurai sword. So he is also pretty dangerous in close combat, um, but he has a rather special gun. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing that. That's quite the shiny gun. Indeed. So it's called a Nova Cannon, uh, and what it does is he effectively, his, 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 um, his purpose in the game is when, when um, there's a firing corridor and your enemy has it completely covered by somebody uh, with a high marksmanship or a long-range uh, weapon, but you really need to get out into that open, you need to get through it to get to an objective, or you need to run off the edge of the board or something like that, and you're completely pinned down. His job is to fire a effectively a flashbang grenade, mm -hmm. uh, and it's a reasonably long-range, 11, 18 inches, and he's not bad at shooting. Doesn't do a great deal of damage, but it's fairly accurate for a template weapon, so it's a small template, but it only deviates one inch. Ah, I see. Um, and I, I am seeing the, the Ancient Blade is not exactly something to be sniffed at. 2-3 no. damage with Pierce 1. So that's the same weapon that Kaneda uh, has, and yeah, in, he's, he's tasty in close combat, definitely. So he's close combat 7, uh, doing, doing decent damage and piercing as well. And with him being one of the, the lizard people, I'm seeing he's camouflaged. I'm loving seeing he's got running guns so that yep. he successfully shoots, he's getting a free dodge. That's it. So he's a little bit harder to hit. Mm -hmm. So his idea is he can pop around a corner, uh, he can try and shoot your sniper, mm -hmm. they can try and shoot back, mm -hmm. uh, so make it an opposed uh shooting a firefight is what we call it mm -hmm. uh so they're waste they're wasting an action point that they're not wasting on your main plan to get your yeah. guy from a to b yeah um and they're less likely to hit him because he's camouflaged and if you use his last action point to do it and you successfully hit he can use run and gun to dodge back into cover uh so you don't get a second shot on him lovely Absolutely lovely. All right, uh, next character. Who do we have here? Ooh, this looks interesting. Yeah, so this is this is an awesome one. This is maybe my favorite of the release, actually, Ravana. So she's she's a bondsman, mm -hmm. uh, and what she has, uh, bondsmen typically don't have stealth. They are typically very tanky mm -hmm. um, and have uh, lots of lots of armor and are very good in close combat. Her shtick, on the other hand, is that she's stealthy, mm -hmm. um, so she's got stealth, she can go into uh, stealth mode and slip through and you have to recognise her in order to be able to shoot her. Mm -hmm. uh, and she's also camouflaged, she's that little bit harder to yeah. hit. And she has a super, she's got the standard hand weapon that all bondsmen, or most bondsmen have, just yeah. a good old axe in yeah, her case, it's a, it's a tomahawk. Um, but uh, her quake grenades are super fun. Uh, she just lobs them and it knocks people over, um, <laughs> which is great for bondsmen because you're at, you're at a close combat disadvantage uh, when you're on your bum. Yep. So she can sort of stealth in, um, set up the charge from your other guys, lob a couple of grenades, and then your other guys just, just yeah. charge in and Roll absolutely in. wreck face. That sounds really, really fun. Yeah. And, Again, and... she's a bit vulnerable. She's... She's armor one with toughness three, which which is low for a bondsman. Yeah, although I have to say the artwork for it is gorgeous. It's great, it's isn't really, it? Really, really yeah. feral. Yeah, and uh, what you so you'll be seeing this is a new really artist, and you'll you'll be seeing a lot more uh, a lot more art from uh, from that guy. Very, very cool. Yeah, and the the sculpture art to miniature works really, really yeah. good. Yeah, I'm super happy with that. Okay, next up we have dinos. Yeah, so uh, a bit of an apology here that we haven't we haven't mocked them up in the in in the same way. But I've literally only just got my hands on these, <laughs> and I thought, do you want to see them? You do really, yeah, don't course. you? 
Yeah, uh, so these are the Truodons. They, uh, I mean, everyone loves a dino. Mm -hmm. The good thing about dinos, of course, is that so far we've shown models for each of the factions, but everyone can uh, can get these little guys. Very cool looking little guys. Very creepy looking with the the feathers. They're like a half step of evolution. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So we're 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 fully embracing the feathered dinosaur mm -hmm. uh, uh, thing here. Okay, so what have they got? Uh, tear. Natural sneaky one, rend one, two four damage, quite nice. Yeah, so the 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 big thing with them is they they're um they're the classic uh, running interference dino. Uh, so if you look, their their tear attack uh, does two when you pass, not not that great, uh, but four when you nail it. So yeah. they're dangerous enough that you can't ignore them because you just don't want to take a risk of them rolling in. Uh, of yeah, the nailing it them, them. and uh, yeah yeah one shotting one of your expensive guys yeah uh, so it's a natural weapon that means that when you blunder um, it does damage to you rather than than uh, the weapon so typically when you blunder with a normal weapon it breaks yeah and it needs to be fixed well yeah. their teeth might uh, they might break a few but you know they're yeah. still they're still going to be biting you it'll hurt yeah um, sneaky means that when uh, they're in an unopposed uh, combat so if they sneak up when you don't have any action points and attack you they're more effective they they get a bonus to their close combat ah I see and then Ren we know what it does a yeah. looks interesting on these yeah so yeah. this is the thing you can't ignore them but they're not easy to hit you have yeah. to nail it to hit them yeah so you're gonna have to use someone who's actually pretty good at shooting yeah absolutely you want you want to you you really want a uh, uh, a high uh, a high marksmanship model or a model that gets to re-roll uh, re a dice on, on the shot. Yeah, or if I remember right, uh, tell me if I'm wrong, but I remember you had template weaponry? Yeah. Which you don't need to roll for? Yeah, that's right. So templates against these might be useful? Yeah, templates Templates are good against all the little dinos, yeah. really, so they're, they're not to be ignored. I know, I know some, some people, when they first, some of the playtesters, when they first started playing, were just like, template weapons, why would you bother? And now they're all like, yeah, definitely want a template weapon for that time. Yeah. Somebody fires... Uh, five over raptors at me, all standing <laughs> next to each other. You know, the, the, the multiple activations. You're yeah. marching down the board, and you just want to sort of <laughs> flame awesome. them all at once. And these guys are the same. You can take four of them. Mm -hmm. They're pretty. Uh, they're they're they're, they're pretty easy to take. They're cheap. Mm -hmm. They're very easy to take down when you do hit them. Yeah. They've only got two wounds. They've only got toughness two with no armor. They yeah. die easily when you hit them, mm -hmm. but they're not that easy to hit. Yeah, that, and if if you get these little guys into some cover or something, yeah. hiding them and then just bouncing them out yeah. at the right moment would be very effective. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, next one. We actually don't have the cards for this guy, but uh, who is uh, this? Ah, so this is Forek, uh, Forek Mounted. So Forek is the leader of the militia, mm -hmm. and that was a model that was released in the Kickstarter. If you buy the militia starter box, then you have that. Uh, during the Kickstarter, we released... Uh, Nix mounted, mm -hmm. uh, and we also released uh, Canada mounted. Canada was on a big praying mantis, mm -hmm. uh, and Nix was on a Uteraptor because uh, girl on a Uteraptor, why would you not want that? Yep, why would you not uh, want that? But the militia are a little bit different. So uh, so Forek has has managed to uh, convince Kratsk, who is the mechanic of the militia, to jury rig him uh, a suit of mechanical armor from mm -hmm. lots of stuff that they found lying around the, yeah. the local skyton area the place that they come from yeah. uh, and so again the theme of this release being things that they're not good at um, uh, they, they really don't have very much close range capability mm -hmm. uh, the bondsman so he's got a massive flamer oh, you mean the militia uh, sorry beg your pardon the militia absolutely uh, he's got a massive flamer uh, and he's got a very, very powerful pincer weapon, yeah. uh, which is very good at crushing people, regardless of whether they're wearing armor or not. Um, the trade-off, however, mm -hmm. is that a normal, com uh, a normal mounted model, yeah. uh, when they dismount, the mount can go off and do other things. You yeah. split the models, and they have action points of their own. Mm -hmm. Of course, this is an inanimate object, yeah. so it can't. And so it has a special rule called inanimate, mm -hmm. which means exactly that. It also has a special rule, um, which I've forgotten the name of, but um, it moves 5-5. Five, five. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter whether you pass or nail it, it's moving 5 all yeah. of the time. It's going to climb up really slowly, it's going to jump 
not very far and it's going to slowly plod towards the enemy yeah. through water whatever relentless march yeah um but you can throw it off a building and it won't take any damage oh. it just lands thump <laughs> um yes completely forgotten the name of the rule uh, oh, this, this, but this, but yeah that that gives you the, the gist yeah. but you can certainly uh, uh you know one one of the things about all the mounted models is your you, the other trade off is that the forek is particularly good at ranged combat not while he's in this thing but he can yeah. climb out of it yeah. he can climb out of it and climb behind it and use it as cover oh uh, <laughs> Okay. Which is quite fun. The other thing is that while he's not in it, people can still shoot it. But it has an incredible amount of armor. It has uh, zero toughness, but seven armor. Oh wow! Yeah. Good yeah. luck. So yeah, you're 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 rolling sevens and under to save unless it's good, unless the the weapon has any uh, uh, armor mitigation. Yeah. Um. I love the design you've done for this. Yeah, it, it's cool. It isn't feels it? bodged. It yeah. feels like yeah. just a crazy mechanic has just went into the junkyard and yeah. started grabbing bits. I'm really curious to see how people paint it. So there's one other thing that I have to say about this. You can see that he's got uh, he's got a triceratops skull. Yeah, it was about uh, to ask. On yeah, why? And there's a reason why. I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is, oh. but. Uh, I said that all of the uh, main faction leaders are going to get a mounted model, mm -hmm. which includes uh, Limosk, the leader of the Bondsman. Mm -hmm. Well, that might have been a friend of Limosk's originally. Oh. Uh, so say no more. Uh, okay. <laughs> but uh, that, that gives you a little, little bit of a spoiler for what might be coming uh, right. early next year, I think. Very cool. All right. I want to pick out my favorite actual detail that you've put on here. Yeah. Which is just on this front armor plate, that one pistol, and the fluffy all pom -poms. gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's got his lucky dice, effectively. Yeah, <laughs> that's it's a super super cool design. It it fits with the theme, fits yeah. with the faction. I love it's a little it. bit alien. It's a little bit Avatar. Yeah. It's it's got all of that stuff going on. I was really really super pleased super yeah. pleased with it. Very cool. All right, I have one more image. Do you? I can't I, think of what that might be because we've done them. No, no, this. Where you, did, you, where did this. you get that? <laughs> you gave me this. It was in your Dropbox. Am I not allowed to use this? Should I take this off screen right now? Well, uh, I'm not going to say anything about it other than it's a bit bigger than most of the stuff that we've uh, that we've been releasing so far. Uh, so I'm as I said, I'm not going to say too much about okay. it. It's going to come on a 50 mm base. It isn't going to be a huge thing. Okay. Um, but it will be the biggest dyno that we've seen so far. And I think it's gonna have this. No, I, I shouldn't really say this because oh, we're in the very early on. play testing stages, and it might all change. So You're absolutely no guarantees. Um, but I think it's gonna have a raw attack, oh. which knocks people over. Okay, that I'm curious about. Yeah, that yeah. I'm curious about. That that I can see why you're nervous about that because of the way the game plays. If you're on yeah. your back, combat suddenly gets really bad. Yeah. So if you get a really good combat faction with this, yeah, we just need to make sure that it works and that it's not overpowered. But mm. uh, so far, the the dilophosaurs, the dilos, the uh, spitters, effectively spit yeah. poison. They're the only dino that has a ranged attack uh -huh. so far. So we're thinking about having a ranged attack for this guy where see. he's basically just got a you know trample raw knock you yeah. over type effect maybe maybe it's, yeah but to test. what a cool concept I, I, yeah it, I, it looks fabulous yeah i had to change my underwear when i when, I, when that <laughs> came through on the email <laughs> squee <laughs> uh well james thank you very much for giving us a peek at what's coming Most in the welcome. future thank Most, you did for i really send you that i don't know what i was thinking it was in the dropbox <laughs> i swear i I'm sorry, I think I might owe this man a pint off camera for this one. <laughs> Alright everybody, get the comments in below. Are you excited for the new stuff coming for the factions, for the Drowned Earth? Myself and James will move on here. We'll move on. One question for you. What rules would you put on this big dino? We'll move on. We'll see you again soon. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And be sure to check out beastofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming let's plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.